can you believe January is almost done and dusted? Kaput. Time is flying. And I tell you what, as you get older, it moves even quicker. So when somebody comes along and wastes three years of your life, it is really time wasted. But I don't want to bang on about it too much. And I have said it again, but we are looking at our options. That's all I can say about that. We are struggling to find a solution to the rubber seals around Marai that are coming loose. Someone who recently examined the seals reckons that the wrong adhesives were used all round. I can remember being told that Sikaflex would be difficult to use as it would be messy to work with and leave black marks all over the new paint job on Marai. However, Sikaflex would have been the correct adhesive, among others. And then of course we have the issue with our doors. The problem with the doors is that they no longer can close properly. The door is out of alignment and as you see here is connecting with the door frame. And here you can see how the bracket holding the door in place has shifted. But it is not all doom and gloom as we have some movement regarding Mariah's suspension upgrade. The guys have also started to look at uh, making brackets for our air suspension. Now we have already got installed at the back. Uh, but those ones are going to move to the front and we're putting really heavy duty ones in the rear. And Tyron's going to use this goodie to make brackets uh, because he's not happy with the way they're mounted at the moment. So that is also underway. The air suspension will be used when we are carrying extra weight and as a leveling mechanism. Tyron is making a bracket from scratch that will support the air suspension unit. And at the risk of repeating myself, it is refreshing to see just how quickly he works. Not even 24 hours ago, I showed you little bits and pieces of steel that Tyron was going to use to make a bracket for our air suspension uh, here in the front of the vehicle. And this is what he has come up with. Now, what is really nice about this is that it is simple, functional, and if we ever need to replace these units, it is easy to do. It's accessible, and that is what I expect. Over the last couple of months, our list of faults uncovered on Mirai by Tyron and Man Trucks is substantial. It is time to speak to Bram Pretorius. For many years, I produced inserts for mainstream television, uh, inserts that had an investigative journalistic uh, sort of angle, uh, mostly to do with the environment. But one thing I learned is that you always give that person who you are accusing of something or alleging that they've done something the right to reply. So with this in mind, um, yesterday I sent a very detailed email to Brahm listing everything that has come to our attention since we took delivery of the vehicle and invited him to come onto my channel and just go through those points and to see what happened. How, how did we get to this stage? Anyways, I uh, did get a reply from Brahm and I will be meeting with him tomorrow, but he will not uh, allow me to film uh, anything with him, which is a pity. He also said this is the first time I'm contacting him. No, that's not quite correct. Uh, this is an email here here that I sent him on the 10th of October when these things first started to happen. But uh, anyways, we will meet with the Oak and uh, yeah, he wants to sort it out like gentlemen. Uh, I one thing like, you know, back in the old, the old days, sorting things out like gentlemen meant hauling out pistols and dueling. Uh, let's just hope we don't get to that. I'll keep you posted. This meeting is critical. To date, Mariki and I have paid 113,101 Rand and 80 cents fixing dodgy workmanship. I am hoping that Brahm will offer to cover some of those costs. Some feedback of my meeting with Brahm, uh, which I have just had. Uh, we discussed everything. Um, he knows that I'm not happy and he's not happy with uh, what I've been saying about him on social media. Um, most of the things he had answers for, 
Uh, one of the big things is that he wanted to know why I hadn't gone back to him because uh, he would have sorted everything out if I had only gone back to him. I didn't need to, he didn't tell me to come to these other guys, he would have sorted everything out. Uh, he did have Pete with him, I don't know if you will remember, Pete is the guy, I used to call him Engine Pete, and we discussed the engine at length, and uh, Pete and I, well I still don't agree with Pete, um, but be that as it may, I'm glad we had a meeting. Um, it, was, it was good to chat and get everything out in the open, or uh, it is already in the open. Uh, Brom didn't offer to compensate for, for anything, and there were only two things that he really um, admitted to. The one was the dodgy welding on the suspension in the front, and the other one were the stripped engine bolts. But let's get back to our front air suspension. Tyron has been a busy boy, and the front brackets are now sorted, and we are ready to do the final installation. Things were looking good. As good as this photograph, which I took. Recently, I posted that beautiful picture you can see over my shoulder on my personal Facebook page. And I wrote there, another cuck day in Leisure Bay. And some of you guys thought I was really having a cuck day, you know, in such beautiful surroundings. Uh, maybe it was a bit lost in translation, but, you know, it's like, doesn't mean I was having a cuck day. I was having a fantastic day. Um, you know, it means opposite. It's like a bit sarcasm, you know. Yeah. The only thing that could possibly destroy a day that starts looking like this, which is just drop dead gorgeous, is if we uncover another little issue on Mirai. That always cocks up my day. Back at Trade Check, Tyron was now working on making brackets for our rear air suspension. The old brackets were badly made and are a bit flimsy considering the weight they would have to carry. Meanwhile, a wee little issue has cropped up regarding our front air suspension unit. So the brackets in the front are all sorted and that, but we have a, a little problem and let me show it to you here. Just got to get a good grip on this thing, it's quite heavy. Uh, these bolts in the top, the thread is stripped and this is a sealed unit. So I don't know if you can see there, uh, there, 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 where, there, yeah. Uh, yeah, those are, you're not going to tighten anything on there. So uh, we've got to work out a way because these things are expensive, man, uh, to sort that out. Yes, we'll sort it out. Something else that needs sorting out is my YouTube channel. All right, something just to further add to my irritation right now. Um, YouTube has stopped monetizing my channel because I need to verify my address. Now to verify my address, I need a code mailed to my PO box. Now our post office in Port Edward is closed, so the mail comes here to this one in Munster. Now it is what? 10 o'clock on a Friday morning and it's closed. Um, this is about the fourth or fifth time I'm coming looking for that code and YouTube will only send it via snail mail. So I'm in a bit of a pickle because I cannot verify my account. Anyone with info on how to solve this conundrum, please share your wisdom with me. Back at Mirai, work on our rear air suspension brackets is coming along nicely. Hopefully in our next episode, I can show you the fully installed setup. A little update on our rubber seal saga. During my meeting with Brahm, uh, we discussed the seals and we also discussed the, the paintwork. And I'm more interested in the paintwork side of things because I'm very happy with the paintwork, that um, the paint job that East Coast Scratch and Dent did. So when everything is done, I will be taking it back to them for, to do touch-ups. Uh, the rubber seals, I've actually phoned the woman we bought all the uh, rubber from, uh, Vilma from Rubberite, and she is busy looking into finding guys in Durban because I, we can't just re-stick these rubbers on. We've got to get new rubbers, uh, the right rubbers, and do the whole vehicle. Rob also said that he would sort out the passenger door that is delaminating. 
And so we come to the end of an eventful episode. I'm thrilled that I was able to finally present my very long list to Brahm and we could sit down and chat about things. But I do still want to extend an invitation to Brahm. Brahm, please, bro, come appear on the show. What we discussed, you can mention on camera here. Up to you and uh, yeah, the people can make up their own minds. Um, if you think I'm being unfair or if I've been unreasonable. But anyways, uh, that invitation stands. Guys, thank you so much for uh, the support uh, and for joining me. We will see you in a week's time. Um, yeah, until then, please look after your possessions, look after your family, look after your property, and above all, you got it. Keep safe. <laughs>